Hello everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Kapil, and I work with Sri. I work with Srijan as a Drupal developer. So I love to work with open source technologies, and Drupal is one of them. So for today, my topic uh, is integration of Drupal coding standards with Git hooks. Yeah. So Git set go. So, what are Git hooks? Git hooks are scripts that Git executes before or after events such as commit, push, and receive. Git hooks are built-in feature; no need to download anything. They are just run locally. So, this is just a technical definition. In layman, I would say, Git hooks are gatekeepers. Like they checks you, your ID, and let you come in the building. The same thing Git hook does for us. Yeah. Okay, so why Git hooks? These are just advantages. So you can say them a good habit. Uh, you can enforce something on an event to follow set of rules and regulations, so that you can follow proper standards or anything on the commit. It's up to you. So first is auto debug. It will debug your code automatically using PHP CS or PHP lint or set of rules uh, you provide to into the hook. Next is auto deploy. It can help you for displaying your code on master using port uh, post hooks. Uh, notifications. You can get notified when your code is updated via Slack, Gmail, Outlook, whatever you want to integrate. cross language it is language uh, language independent you can use any language python ruby php bash it's up to you drupal coding standards coding standards are set of rules set of program coding standards are set of rules for programmers that lay out best practices for formatting and various other rules it tell us how to format what we write so that everyone is using the same convention and has the same expectation when they go to look at a new piece of code so this is just a definition just a set of rules and regulation you have to follow while writing the code uh, who decided that uh, drupal standards it is decided by community and it is based on the php standards or peer peer standards and even you can contribute if you are not liking something just create a issue on the queue that is php standards the quality of your code is not just in its execution but also in its appearance yes a very nice line uh it is not restricted to follow the style but it shouldn't be hard for you also uh, if you see your code after one year or two year why coding standards readability it should it shouldn't be hard to read or understand by the third person who is looking at your code it can be maintainable maintainable code it should be easily extendable so that we can add more functionality to it or we can reuse that code after a while also we can extend that functionality also spot error more easily obviously if you have if you have if your code is proper properly linted or so it's proper you can just easily spot the human errors like syntax errors or just a missing of comma or the semicolon you can easily track them encourages collective ownership if you follow if you follow your team will also encourage to follow such practices and if they didn't it's your responsibility then so how do they work every git repository has a dot dot git hooks directory with a script for each hook you can bind to you are free to change update these hooks as necessary and git will execute them when those events occur go to git hook directory select your hook write your stuff make them execute executable and it's ready just uh, make sure that you remove the dot sample extension Uh, while executing the script or any piece of code you are running in the file it whatever 
so type of git hooks so there are two types of hooks client side hooks and server side hooks so client side hooks they just run on your local machine pre commit prepare commit message commit message post commit post checkout pre rebase and post merge the first four hooks let you plug into the entire commit life cycle and the final three let you perform some extra actions or safety checks for git checkout or while rebasing the branch next are server side hooks pre receive update or post receive pre receive you can enforce some dev policies update it works pretty same as pre receive and it is still called before anything updated it has three parameters reference uh, <coughs> reference reference new object and old object and after that post receive so you can use that for notifying people uh, via gmail outlook or slack it's up to you so as you can see this pic picture so you can differentiate between client side and server side all the pre hooks run the check styles protect master and the post one is it safe to the branch and notify chat room and when git hooks this is the entire commit cycle till the local one and after that the remote one the client side one so changes to commit pre commit prepare commit message commit message post commit pre receive update post receive and then rebase checkout and merge so pre commit uh, you can mention the php standards or using code sniffers you can add them in pre commit prepare commit message just allow you to just uh, alter the basic uh, template of the commit message in commit message you can just uh, follow the res restriction that you can just uh, as an example i would say that enforce user to add the jira id in the ticket as we not follow in the commit uh, most of the commits so you can restrict that in commit message yeah that's it live demo okay so before going to the demo <coughs> peripistic so php code sniffer it's less than or equal to 2.9 so right now i guess the latest version is 3.2.5 but there is a known issue in the community i am and i am following up on the same so it is currently working with uh, php code sniffer 2.9 or less than that git and the coder module you can download that from drupal 8 website yeah so i have this file just a second yeah so just create some errors so just try to commit some message anything so it will be notified that uh, it has the file has a error so first you need to correct that
yeah so there is a error please append the jira ticket number and even you can notify the user as a you can say that uh, every time developer just forgot to log their time after the code so even you can remember uh, uh, you can just give them a warning that please log your time as well or in the worst case you can just open a browser window also so that they can forcefully log the time so in my case uh, in my script in my case this is the pattern now you can commit the file uh and now you can push that so i'll just show you the directory structure so these are the hooks apply patch message commit message pre apply pre commit pre push update commit post update pre commit prepare commit and pre rebase you just need to remove the dot sample extension and just uh, make them executable and you are ready to go so for the php cs and the linter one i have just uh, altered the file uh, my pre commit file i have added this uh, piece of code in this file and for the restriction of the commit message i have added this i'm not good at bash but i still tried something so you can find n number of examples and alter according to your needs so i have added one video uh first take a look and this and then just i can relate this what happened anyone yeah so i can relate this in such a manner that my knowledge transfer is done of a product and when i dive into the coding part and i see that the non documented code and even if i ask someone so how he can he or she can decide that what is going on so it should be a good practice that we follow the standards to just maintain the maintain the integrity of the code and even for the product product even if you go or, or the project has been transferred to someone so even they are just uh, by the documentation they can go and just give it a shot so so thank you so much guys questions which two hooks uh pre commit and pre message i think yeah uh, so get ah uh, the prepare commit message just uh, uh give you the alter of the specified template so there is a default template that you should follow so prepare commit message and commit message so they have a difference on commit message you can check the restriction in the prepare commit message you can define the template of the commit message yeah oh um you're bringing in an array um what are the various options to to work with arrays with regards to get hooks 
uh, with arrays. So, uh, composer to generate an array that can be used with GitHub? No, 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 no. Uh, you can just, uh, it's just a language independent. So you can write in the, uh, on the local machine, you can run the server hooks. But on, if you say on the server side, so on the, you can use web hooks. So Bitbucket gives you, but uh, GitHub uh, does have a plugin with the Jenkins so that you can check, uh, you can create a job in the Jenkins and just write the code, the piece of code there. So on the GitHub, you can just check the, whether it is following the standards or not. So f with Composer, I guess it's not possible. No. Hello. Oh. Yeah, sure. And even who oh, is interested in setting this up on his local machine, I have created a well-documented step-by-step doc so that you can just uh, set up it locally in just 10 to 20 minutes. Hi. Right, so I figured I'd use the mic. <laughs> um, I just had a question. If, if all the Git hooks are local, um, w is there a way to enforce a certain um, set of scripts for like a distributed company? Uh, what's the, is there a good practice to transmitting that to each developer on their local machine? Uh, ideally, we have a way that we can symlink on the local machines. We can create a symlink and uh, distribute among all. But, uh, but if you want to integrate the server side, so it might be a hectic because you have to, uh, m even some of the contributed modules also does not follow proper standards. So that should be a case that you have to set up this on the local system. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. It's already uh, there on the uh, Git. If you if you are using Git, it it is already there. You just have to use them. You have to write the piece of code. What what do you want from the what do you want from Git hooks? What do you want to implement? You have to write the code. But if you wanted to use the same set of Git hooks um, every time, like say you started a new repo on your computer, is there a way to get those to be there by default without having to like copy them into the? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that uh, there is a way to symlink the Git hooks so that you can use the, uh, the same hook on the different repositories. Anyone? Um, I had a question about um, just... Uh, you showed the uh, pre-commit hook and then the commit message hook. Um, what is uh, like a good practice on what steps of hooks to use in a project? I've used post receive to apply code onto a server after pushing or after committing to a branch and then pushing those changes to that specific branch on the server to change the code, but I guess. It totally depends upon your requirement. So uh, you have to decide that what hook you are using and what you want to implement on the repository. So that's the decision you make while implementing the project. OK. Um, so you showed pre-commit. Are there um, good practices to use when you're using hooks locally and then um, on a server where you're pushing those changes? And yeah. Um, could you maybe go more specific on how you would use post receive to maybe, if you push changed and you want to go back a commit or take back your last commit that you might have pushed? Uh, that you can enforce on pre receive so that it could not be merged to master. Okay. On post receive, only you get the notifications because it runs after the master has been updated. Okay. 
Okay, so it's kind of a matter of just following You have to decide what you, ha you want to implement. That's it. Okay, All right. that makes sense. Thanks. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.